Hello, hello, English. Finally. Hello. Good to see you. Good to have you back. Today we're going to talk about. I don't know. What are we going to talk about today? Every time you get me, it's a new topic. Well, I forgot. But. Dio <laughs> caro. <laughs> there must I be. I wanted to talk about life in Philippines. Ah. Because you moved to Philippines, I and I don't see any logic behind this. Can you explain to us sure. the motivation behind moving to the Philippines? Such a wonderful country. It is. It really is. It started during my investment years. We're talking about the early 90s when I was heavily invested, but still early in my career. I ended up reading an article and it talked about many Americans are selling their furniture, their car, and their house. And moving to the Czech Republic. I read that article. No. <laughs> They're moving to a third world country. So even though I was going strong and teaching, in other words, I enjoyed my teaching and refereeing, I decided to start looking into three countries, Costa Rica, Panama, the Czech Republic, I'm sorry, and the Philippines. And over a period of about 16 years, I was able to read quite a bit of information on those three countries. As you know, Costa Rica and Panama are in Central America. Right. The Philippines is in the Far East. And I know Costa Rica has a perfect climate. Very good. We, we looked at that the other night. We saw yeah. uh, an article about the top 10 best places to live because of the climate. And Costa Rica was one of them. One of the top ten. So you never stop learning. But in my case, over the years, Costa Rica became more expensive. The condominiums cost more. People from other parts of the world were taking advantage of the opportunities there, which increased the prices. And so I ended up crossing that off my list. Right. It then became Panama and the Philippines. Sure enough, I ended up picking, obviously, I'm living there, the Philippines. So after my 25 years of teaching, I ended up going to the Philippines. It because of women. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> I, I, no. Okay. No, because at that time I never read anything about the people. Just concentrated on per capita income, how much money they bring in okay. every year, how much money they people earn. And sure enough, sure enough, um, I ended up there. There was a teacher at my school, and she said, if you decide to go to the Philippines, go to a place called Puerto Princesa Palawan. Right. And I listened to good advice, and I ended up flying from Manila to Puerto Princesa Palawan, which is where I live now. All right, so you stayed there since? Correct. Since 2006, it was the best decision I ever made. Why? Because the weather is beautiful every day of the year, around 30 degrees Celsius. We have a breeze blowing in from the water all the time. We do not get typhoons or earthquakes. That's not saying we could get a typhoon, but we haven't really had one since I was there. And it's a, it's a slow way of life. It's a slow way of life. And I enjoy that. Enjoy now, that. what do you do? Are you retired or do you still teach there? Do you have any other business? 
Sure. Well, what do you do in your free time anyway? Sure. You know, I thought I was going to get away from teaching, but no sooner do I land and the teaching uh, is in my blood. So sure enough, I ended up teaching at two universities in Puerto Princesa, Palawan. And they were, one was a state university and one was private. Um, they only offered me 125 euro, about, and I ended up teaching for free. I used the Philippines as a home base, and I ended up teaching two years in China, one in Nanjing University and one in Shanghai. I taught at Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and Kuwait, wow, so and Turkey. Places. In my free time, I referee basketball games there. I also build apartment houses. I build townhouses, upstairs and downstairs, and I build row houses. And I work with the laborers. I'm out there mixing cement, putting sand or rocks inside the cement bags, carrying hollow blocks. I look at it as a means to keep me in shape. I use Puerto Princesa also as a stepping stone to travel to other countries in the Far East and Middle East and even back to the States on occasion. So I try to keep busy. I honestly do. Yeah, interesting. I think I'm going to build a garage. I'm going to put him at work. <laughs> You know, he likes it. I, I can build. I have enough knowledge to understand how, ma how many metal bars go around the main bars. You know, I, and I always do things a little bit better than what the engineer says because I sure don't want an accident to happen. But at the same time, uh, it's a lot of fun. It really is to see something go up in front of you over a period of time. And I, I do it all for my wife and a daughter. Excellent. So, see how busy he is? Uh, me too. Me too. So, I want you to get busy. Yes. You know, people, you have one chance in life. You want to go home after work and do nothing? That's up to you. I'm not going to judge you. But there are on, only so many hours in a day. Don't waste your time learn new things I don't care if you have to volunteer first keep busy volunteer work work two jobs if you have to you're young exactly don't waste your time exactly excellent thank you so much such a good advice we'll see you back again soon bye 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 it, it, you're close to me. Maybe you sped up, scoot over a little bit. Come on, man. Click here to subscribe to our English Finally channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon and never miss another update.